Hello everyone, welcome to Kelsey Video. In our previous video, we discussed about the structure, components, and types of lipoprotein. In this video, we're going to discuss about color micron metabolism. If you have watched our video about lipid digestion and absorption, you might remember that the end product of lipid digestion in the intestine interact with an apoprotein called ApoB48 and assemble themselves into chylomicron, which is secreted in the circulation via the lymphatic system. So this is the nascent chylomicron in the circulation. This is called nascent because it's not matured. It needs more apoproteins to be fully matured. In the circulation, there is also HDL, which is the kindest lipoprotein. It donates its apoprotein to other lipoproteins when they need it. So here, HDL donates its apo C and E to the nascent chylomicron. Now, the nascent chylomicron has triacylglycerol, cholesterol ester, free cholesterol, apo B48, apo C, and apo E. At, it's totally matured now. As chylomicron passes in the circulation, the apple C2 in the chylomicron activates the lipoprotein lipase enzyme, which is situated at the capillary wall of the peripheral tissues, especially adipose tissue, skeletal muscle, and cardiac muscle. This lipoprotein lipase enters into the chylomicron and it degrades the triacylglycerol into fatty acid and cholesterol. The fatty acid enters into the cell where it is stored in the adipose tissue and used up as energy in skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle. On the other hand, the glycerol goes into the liver. As the major portion of chylomicron was triacylglycerol and it is degraded, the chylomicron reduces in size. Moreover, the C is returned to the HDL. The remnant portion is called chylomicron remnant, which is cholesterol rich. This chylomicron remnant now goes into the liver and the hepatocytes degrades the chylomicron remnant by the process of endocytosis and the apple E inside of the chylomicron remnant help the hepatocyte to recognize the cell and this is the metabolic fate of the chylomicron. Let's recapitulate the process. The nascent chylomicron is secreted in the circulation from the intestine. Then the nascent chylomicron becomes matured by getting apo C and apo E from HDL. The apo C2 in the chylomicron activates lipoprotein lipase and lipoprotein lipase degrades triacylglycerol into fatty acid and glycerol and fatty acid goes into the cell and glycerol goes into the liver and then the remnant portion is called chylomicron remnant which goes into the liver where it is finally degraded. So this is how the chylomicron transports triacylglycerol from intestine to the peripheral tissue. The desired level of chylomicron is 100 to 200 milligram percent. Thanks for watching this video. In our next video, we're going to discuss about VLDL metabolism. Till then, stay with us and don't forget to subscribe our channel.